today we will understand about a very trending topic that is human uh, metanemovirus also known as HMP virus so guys you can follow me on insta uh, my profile is the lab doc 27 and you can also like my page on facebook the lab physician so let's start our video so we will cover this topic under various head headings first of all we will look into introduction of the virus its epidemiology and pathogenesis then symptoms and lastly we will look into diagnosis and management part so first of all introduction so the HMPV virus is a respiratory virus that was first identified in 2001 in Netherlands the researchers found that the virus in children with respiratory symptoms who tested negative for other known pathogens the genetic study suggests that the virus has been circulating in human population of for over 50 years now the virology part it's belong uh, it belongs to the pneumoviridae family and it is closely related to the respiratory syncytial virus that is rsv and it's an rna virus with four subgroups a1 a2 b1 and b2 the virus primarily affects the respiratory system causing infections that range from mild cold like symptoms to severe respiratory distress while it can infect uh, individuals of all ages hmpv poses a particular threat to young children and older adults including those with compromised immune systems like uh, patients having diabetes hiv infection or some chronic illness now uh, let's take a look in, into the structure of the virus so the virus contains a lipid bilayer as the outer uh, sheath and it has two types of proteins on its surface one is fusion protein and other one is glycoprotein Inside the nucleic acid contains the phosphoprotein and uh, it contains polymerase enzyme also. On the surface it has SH protein also and below lipid bilayer it has the matrix protein. Now there are various proteins that are encoded by the HMPV genome uh, like uh, polymerase, glycoprotein, fusion protein, matrix protein, phosphoprotein and nucleoprotein. This is the uh, genome of uh, HMPV pro uh, virus. Now let's talk about the epidemiology part. So, global distribution. The HMP infection occur worldwide and are common in both developed and developing countries. The seasonal variation is like of RSV and influenza. The HMPV peaks in late winter and early spring in temperate regions. The for the high risk groups, these are in, uh, young children, the elderly and the immunocompromised as I told you earlier also. These groups face the highest risk. And the outbreaks are common in long term care facilities and hospitals. This slide shows the heat map of the uh, HMPV virus. So basically uh, there are two genotypes A1, A2, B1, B2. So A and B genotype. In India mostly genotype A prevalent, uh, is prevalent and in China also uh, genotype A subgroup A2. And in, you can see in other parts also it is very prevalent in most of the world in Europe and USA also in Africa and Australia. Now the pathogenesis of HMPV virus. So basically the virus is trapped by toll-like receptors of the macrophage in the bloodstream and also from the dendritic cells that activates several adapter molecules like TRIF and MYD88. Now these M, uh, adapter molecules activates nuclear factor kappa beta NF kappa beta and uh, the RNA of uh, virus is detected by the cytoplasmic rig one like receptors that is RLR and further it activates the nf kappa beta by of mitochondrial antiviral signaling protein that is mabs and trans transcription activators interferon regulatory factors 3 and 7 irf3 and irf7 as you can see in the pic and these further nf kappa beta and irf induce the production of several interferons and interleukins mainly il2 il4 and il8 and interferons interferon alpha beta and gamma now the clinical presentation of hmpv virus uh, so the uh, mild cases present with runny nose, cough, fever and sore throat. In severe cases it can lead to bronchiolitis, pneumonia and acute respiratory distress syndrome. So the uh, differentiation is uh, can be seen uh, with other virus like RSV and influenza. These are these both virus causes similar symptoms like HMPV and but there are fewer cases of wheezing. Complications include secondary bacterial infections, hospitalization and ICU admission in severe cases. So basically the symptoms are runny or stuffy nose, cough, shortness of breath, sore throat, wheezing, 
fever and rash now the main important part is diagnosis part which the lab physicians deal with so this includes first of all pcr testing that is polymerase chain reaction it is most sensitive and most specific part of the diagnosis the second one is antigen test it is rapid but it is less sensitive serology includes uh, the diagnosis uh, identification of the virus it is useful for retrospective studies but not for acute diagnosis the challenges include uh, are co infections with other viruses and under diagnosis due to overlapping symptoms that i told you earlier now treatment and prevention so the treatment options uh, include supportive care which is very crucial it includes hydration oxygen therapy and mechanical ventilation in severe cases antiviral drugs currently in development but none are approved specifically for hmpv uh, we can use uh, steroids uh, and bronchodilators for symptomatic treatment the public health implications include burden on healthcare system like high hospitalization rates during seasonal peaks like it currently going on impact on vulnerable population increases the need for icu beds surveillance the efforts to include the hmpv in routine respiratory virus panel for better data collection now prevention as you all know prevention is better than cure so prevention include good hygiene hand washing mask wearing and surface disinfection vaccine development currently the research is going on going for recombinant vaccines and monoclonal antibodies as of now we have no uh, no approved vaccines for the hmpv virus the future perspective are research priorities developing a safe and effective vaccine understanding the immune response to hmpv for better therapeutic strategies studying long term effects of severe hmpv infections and awareness Cam- awareness can be spread through campaigns targeting healthcare professionals and the general public to recognize and mitigate the impact of hmpv so guys this is all about hmpv i hope you got the topic and uh, understand the concept very well so thank you don't forget to like share and subscribe my video and uh, be in touch with me for upcoming <laughs>